Hello and welcome to Finnovasia's Future of AI in Finance Conference and Hong Kong FinTech Week. I'm Tan Mei Bakshi, a 14-year-old algorithmist, artificial intelligence and software developer, TEDx and keynote speaker, author, honorary IBM Cloud Advisor, and champion for cloud. Over the next two days at this conference, you'll be learning about the ever-increasing role of artificial intelligence in financial services. In fact, here's why I believe this is one of the most important debates in Asia. In the future, there will be two types of jobs. Those who tell computers what to do, and those who are told what to do by computers. Discovering and encouraging young talent to pursue careers in computer science arguably generates biggest reward for the lowest amount of risk. Now, I've never known a world without the internet, and data is everywhere for me. And in fact, I've been working on creating neural networks that allow the disabled to communicate. And I've also created machine learning that enhances images, systems that generate music, and much more. And am proof that, if encouraged correctly, anything is possible. And while AI has had a lot of hype around it, I believe it's totally justified. See, AI's not new. Many of its principles have existed for long before I was even born. But what is new is our ability to capitalize on these principles through massive advances in processing power. In turn, we're able to use that processing power on the staggering amounts of data we have that simply wasn't available to us before. Now, you'll hear a lot of different terminology over the course of the next two days. Machine learning, cognitive computing, neural networks, but they're all essentially asking the same question. Can a computer do your job better than you can? Now, banks, insurance brokers, commodity traders, and accountants are just some of the institutional organizations that are being forced to turn into technology companies. Now, artificial intelligence and the automation it brings can have a huge effect on sales, production, and innovation. And we can now eliminate many of the mundane activities and free workers to create and innovate on the many other challenges ahead. To conclude, I'd like to say a huge thank you to Invest Hong Kong and Finnovasia for inviting me. And I hope you have a wonderful conference ahead. Finally, I hope to see you there next year in person. Sorry I couldn't be there this year, but happy conferencing and goodbye.